Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows, so that's Supergirl and The Flash mainly. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so thank you for tuning into this video. Please go check out yesterday's video, which is very similar, but we have lots of different questions because we're going to be going over some more questions in this video that you guys have submitted on the community tab so there will be a new post by the time this video goes out please be sure to go over to the community tab if you want to have your topic question theory or you know whatever you come up with answered in one of these videos please be sure to go over there right now and do that come up with something really cool the best ideas and the best theories will be the ones that will be picked and included in these videos also just any other sort of ideas like do you want me to cover anything else let me know in the comments down below as per normal all right so the first question comes from Mackenzie Kirk on YouTube who asks in the comics do they fix and put the multiverse back to the way it was or at least sort of how it was so that's a good question Mackenzie because in the comics after crisis as far as I can remember because I haven't been up to date in the recent comics like, I read, I don't know, like 50 issues of Flash Rebirth, and now I'm just kind of behind. Read some Supergirl, read a few Justice League comics, but I haven't actually been reading them recently. But as far as I can remember, what happened after Crisis, which I think was in the 70s or 80s, I read the whole run, it's the best comic book ever, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Obviously, we had it on the TV show, and in the comics... You know, lots of Earths are destroyed, heroes die, villains die, everything falls. But, you know, some Earths remain intact, some Earths essentially merge together like we had in the Arrowverse. So, you know, Earth Prime becomes a thing. So, they don't ever actually return the multiverse to how it was, or sort of how it at least nearly was. Pretty much everything was changed. That is the reason for Crisis, and that is why they did that in the comics actually if you guys didn't know they wanted to essentially change everything because they introduced the multiverse and they kind of wanted to shatter that a little bit because the sort of breadth of it was too wide and so it was a sort of tactic by dc to kind of small in the scope but then obviously the scope gets bigger and bigger over time so they never actually fixed it but they've introduced new ways of including the multiverse and including other earths and stuff like that like, if you saw what happened in Crisis on the TV show, you had these new Earths formed, these new versions of, say, Earth 2, where you have Stargirl instead of Harry Wells and Killer Frost and everything, and Zoom. So, you know, basically, that is the closest we're going to get to the old multiverse, is these new Earths. They are going to be the new new, the new sort of um, originals. So, that is what will happen, and, you know, in the comments, they don't ever fix it. Alright, so next question comes from Sideswipes a Boss on YouTube who asks, What would you want the next major crossover to be? So this is a good question and I've said this for many years, I would really, really like War World. Because they have mentioned War World before, so this will be with Mongol, who is one of the biggest DC villains ever, like obviously behind Darkseid and other characters like that. But War World is a really interesting thing because it's like a mobile planet, it is a planet that essentially is about war and they have these fights, they have these battles, they actually make the heroes battle. Like if you guys have seen some of the animated series, maybe you guys have seen that, maybe some of you guys have read the comics, but let's reference the animated series here. They actually make some of the heroes fight, like Hawkgirl fights some other characters, I think it was like Wonder Woman or something like that. It's been like many years since I watched, you know, the animated series, but basically it would be a really cool crossover because the concept of our heroes having to fight each other is really good and it's not like oh they're not gonna fight each other like they are forced to fight each other it's not like civil war or something where they're talking they're like oh i'm sorry for hitting you no they're actually gonna hit them in war world they're actually gonna try and kill them because that's mongols control and i would love to see it because also they've referenced it in supergirl before mon -El has referenced war world He's been to War World before, so maybe say Monel comes back for the next crossover. That would be amazing, but I don't know how likely that is. But that would lead into War World, 
I think that would be a great, great next crossover. Obviously, the other choices are kind of obvious. You have, you know, the different versions of the Injustice Society. You obviously have that on Stargo right now. You have these different sort of super villain team ups out there in the multiverse. Any of them could work. But I would say, obviously, Darkseid is kind of the biggest step that you can take. But they're using him in Justice League in the films right now. So I don't think we're going to get Darkseid. So I would say War World is the next best bet for the TV show in terms of like if they're going for a big kind of crossover I think War World would be very good. Alright so the next question comes from John Ducetti on YouTube who asks do you think Mr. Mixie will come back on one of the shows to mess with them? Tom Lennon is so good as the character. So good question and I really do want to see Mixie back and yes he is going to return I think there are actually plans for him to return next season because I believe he was cast as a recurring character, Tom Lennon, who, you know, he was the recast of the original actor from season two. You know, you had that great episode with Kara Monel and Mixie. That is one of my favorite episodes of Supergirl ever. But then the hundredth episode was amazing. I did not expect to like this new Mixie, but he was great, and he really kind of had that similar energy as to the first actor. And so, yeah, Mixie, I believe, was actually cast as a recurring character. He only popped up once in Supergirl last season. So you can hazard the guess from that that there are plans for Mr. Mixie Spillick to return sometime in the next season to maybe toy with them or to mess with them or to be, you know, helpful in a way because, you know, he was helpful this last time. But, yeah, maybe more mischievous the next time he shows up. And I think Tom Lennon will return as Mr. Mixie sometime next season. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This kind of links into the multiverse question that we had right at the start. So this comes from Spin7 on YouTube who asks, Hey, a possible return of Overgirl and Dark Archer is possible because of the reset of the multiverse. So this is a good topic to bring up because, you know, we talked about the reset of the multiverse, like, I think it's going to go back to normal. No, they're not going to go back to normal if they follow the comics. And the way they've set it up, it's sort of this, like, new multiverse where you have these other Earths that used to exist. But they've been reformed and reshaped and retooled in a different way with different characters, different villains, different kind of settings. So, I think it would be really cool to bring back some past characters that have, say, died or gone away but like say different iterations of them. So a possible return of Overgirl and the Dark Archer would be amazing. I love them, that is my favorite crossover. You know, big crossover, my favorite crossover ever is the musical crossover, but Crisis on FX is the best four way massive crossover. And Overgirl, Melissa was so good and Steven was amazing as the Dark Archer. So I would say there is a possible way that they could return i don't know how likely it is because you know that is getting them to come back and do these other roles that they've done in the past and also they have to play their normal characters and i don't see the likelihood of Stephen and mel coming back that soon after arrow has ended so it at least won't be in the next crossover or something like that but i would really be down to see like a version of overgo again Alright, so the final question is from Johnny the Berry on YouTube who asks, Is Power Girl going to be a hero or a villain in Supergirl? So, yeah, we've been waiting for Power Girl for a long time. A different version of Supergirl is what she essentially is. And I think it would be very cool to see, you know, with Crisis and with everything that happened and, you know, the questions we talked about in this video, I thought this linked up very well because, like, what happens if Power Girl is this different version of Supergirl on one of the new Earths that we got a glimpse of in Crisis, and maybe she is bad, maybe she's good, most likely she's good if she's like a Supergirl from another Earth, I think that would be really cool to see Power Girl eventually, so I'm going to say she's probably going to be a hero. Alright guys, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.